I've been set free from this pain in my back. I've had it for several years. I can't tell you when it began, but I know that God has touched my body and my pain is gone in Jesus' name. Hey, I'm Belinda Castillo. Um, I had lower back pain yesterday around 5 p.m. I took ibuprofen at night, still went to bed with it, um, woke up with the pain, took more ibuprofen, and it just didn't heal. And I met this gentleman. He prayed for me, power through Jesus Christ, and he healed me. You have no more pain right now? Right now, I have zero you pain. You move around in your shoulder? I can move around my shoulders. And it, was in my lower, it was in my lower back. And you, it was a five or a six? It was a six, yeah, around six. there. Now, and now it's there's no pain. Zero. That's awesome. Praise Jesus. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Doug Holt from Columbus, Nebraska. And when I was about 24 or 25, I was diagnosed with um, fibric dysplasia. That's where, um, as you mature, instead of your bones filling in, my mine hardened out. So I just had an outside shell. And I discovered, being a machinist, that the rapid motion of my arm, I was doing stress fractures on my arm. They ended up having a surgery where they took marrow out of my hip and they packed it into the bones in my arms and my hands. That has caused me severe pain whenever I try to extend my elbows all the way. I can't get it past there. And for years, I've only been able to wash the side of my head with this one arm and do the rest with this other one. Tonight, as we were praying, I just started believing that and moving this arm out. And it kept going farther and farther before I reached that point of pain to where now I can hold it straight and twist it, which was almost impossible. And as far as mobility, not only can I just wash the side, I can reach over and just wash my other ear if I want to right now, and there's no pain. And I could not put my hand behind my back without getting the countdown that I was in a lot of trouble. Right now, I feel believe that I'm totally healed of that, and um, I have no pain whatsoever and total mobility. My name is Walt Catlett from North Platte, Nebraska. About 42 years ago, I noticed that my shoulders had enough pain in them that I'd have to do uh, push-ups several times a day just to keep them loose and keep the pain down. And the night, this arm is totally pain-free. My name is Lisa Siebenaller, and 25 years ago, I fell down my dad's stairs, and I've had constant and increasing pain in my neck ever since, in my upper back. And tonight I got prayer, and I can turn my head side to side, and I can move it, and I don't have lingering pain in my muscles and in my shoulder and in my neck. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My name is Pat, and about two months ago, I was having extreme pain. It started in my wrist, go up my elbow and my shoulder, down into my fingers. Didn't know what it was, didn't want to go see a doctor. Daniel just prayed for me, and the, the, everything just loosened up, and the pain is totally gone. Totally gone, total movement. No problems. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, my name is Sue, and I'm at the Walking and Power Conference in Grand Island. And um, I was in a session today with Daniel, and he gave a word of knowledge about a, a lady named Debbie or Denise. He wasn't sure, um, but he said that she had some pain in her left hand. And um, on our way here, I was with my friend, and we were just talking about um, some of our aches and pains. And Debbie happened to um, mention that she has a lot of pain in her right hand, and that she, you know, left. I'm sorry, left hand, and that she will um, someday practice surgery for it. Hi, my name is Debbie and I am Sue's friend and um, after the last session Sue ran up to me and she said Debbie there was a word for you and I believe it was for you that you um, from Daniel and his name was Daniel and, and that it was about pain in your left hand and I believe that was a word for you for Debbie or Diane but I believe it was for you so I we ran back in here um, to the sanctuary and looked for Daniel and uh, Daniel prayed for me and I have carpal tunnel or I had carpal tunnel in my left hand and um, I wasn't able to pincer or anything I didn't have to, I couldn't even do this before right now and so um, I asked da Daniel said what can I what can you show me something that you can do now that you couldn't do before and so he dropped the quarter on the cement and I can pick up the quarter now Whereas before, it would have taken me at least two or three times to pick up the quarter without dropping it and dropping it because I didn't, I could not grip. 
And so I'm just thanking the Lord for his healing and I'm believing him for that this will be totally and completely healed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You could see it if my shirt was not on. You would okay. see it. What would you say? Is you know it better than me. I've never seen it either. So, um, yeah. yeah. And it was, but it was, it would come out, you know. It was, it was like, sitting out before. Does it feel like it's in now? Yeah. Dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michelle Hahn, and um, I've heard voices in my head for about 20 years. Um, last, about three years ago, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder too. And um, I've been on medication for it ever since. Last night I got prayed for. I felt like um, like something plugged into the side of my head and like it was um, sucking. And um, I got prayed for because it was weird. And once they prayed for me, it stopped. And when it, when it stopped, the voices stopped. They just totally went away. And <clears throat> since last night, I haven't heard any voices. I haven't had any panic attacks. And I slept like last night like I've never slept before. So I praise God because I'm healed. Praise God, Holy Ghost. We worship. You guys want to pray, secular, pray to any point that wanting to wave both hands in the air and keep waving. Ready for this? Just, just keep waving. Thank you. 